Hello, this is Chris with US Galaxy S3. This is a really long overdue video. Um, I have my phone that I use daily, uh, my Verizon Galaxy S3 here. I'm going to root it. You can see here I don't have Super User uh, installed right now, but we're going to get that fixed. Um, head over to XDA, and we uh, found this thread, uh, the original thread is right here and then he developed a little script to make it a lot easier I'll put those links in the description below the video so here are the instructions install the USB drivers if you don't already have them there's a link to that uh, we've already installed them on this computer uh, you'll need something to extract this little download right here because it's a 7-zip file uh, that's easily uh, can be found on the internet just google uh, on your phone, make sure you have enabling uh, enable installation of third-party apps. So go to settings, then go to security, device administration, unknown sources right here. Allow installation of non-market apps. Gives you a little warning. Go ahead and click OK. You also have to have uh, USB debugging enabled. So go back, go down to developer options, click USB debugging, and if you have your USB cord connected, it's going to tell you to disconnect it. So go ahead, do that, check, OK. You can, should be able to plug your USB back in. So on your PC it says make sure you don't have any other uh, Android devices connected, any Android emulators running, or Android tools like PDA, PDA Net running. Uh, plug your phone back into your USB port on your computer. For best results use a port directly on the machine and not a USB hub. So double click uh, root debug FS bat and follow the instructions uh, on the screen. Your phone will reboot three to four times during this process. Just leave it plugged in. To be safe, don't switch to any other application while the root process is running. So if you don't want to heighten your chances of breaking your phone, just follow the instructions. We've downloaded the attachment and extracted it right here. We're going to double click this. And it opens this right here. We're going to click 1 for root. Uh, standard disclaimer you're going to have to agree to press any key to continue now it's trying to detect our device Now it's asking us to press any key again. Second reboot.
It says testing super user and it says UID and GID should both be zero and yes it is. So I'm going to put Y, enter. Well, it's installing the super user APK. It says once your Galaxy S3 reboots for one last time, it'll be rooted. If you are still unable to use root apps, try opening super use and checking for binary updates. Uh, you might also try rebooting one more time. Press any key to continue. Let's go inside and see if we have super user. It's right there. over to info, tap to check for updates and we'll click update to update the latest uh, binary we'll allow so there we have, we didn't have to install a ROM and we have root access to our Verizon Galaxy S3. So for more information about US versions of the Galaxy S3, please like these videos and subscribe to this channel. The next thing we'll probably do to this uh, device is install a custom recovery and start flashing ROMs. Alright, thanks a lot.